private secretary, you would be given a great gift. We have a lot to do if we are to get his work to the people. So glad you're here! Oh. I sneeze sometimes when I get nervous. I believe that wealth corrupts us all. It's a keystone of the movement. Oh, God, I know all about the movement. I want you to keep a diary. Anything the Countess says. The survival of our movement depends upon it. So the uh, two of you are paired, which viewers might wonder, since mm. you don't really have a lot to do in the movie together, why, why the pairing today? I think we look good together. I think that's why. Like the same age. And that's maybe. a good question. <laughs> we have the same age. That's right. Maybe I don't know why they paired us together. I mean, I guess we're sort of we represent opposing views in the movie. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we're yeah. opposites. Yes. Sort of. Yeah, we, we 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 don't have anything to do with each other, which maybe makes it interesting. Yeah, to completely together. opposites in the Attractive film. Really opposites. Attractive like opposites. It. Yes, that even though you play a very stern character, you play a very free-spirited character, that the movie as a whole does have a lot of vitality, life to it, and mm -hmm. comedy. So mm -hmm. I'd like to address that aspect of it for people who look at the, the poster and think, oh, Tolstoy. Yeah. That's you know? true, actually. <laughs> yeah. It does seem like it's going to be that kind of thing. And actually, it's basically a comedy. Completely, yeah, or like a, yeah. a love story nearly as well. But it's definitely yeah. a love story, but it's definitely got a lot of humor in it. I think it would be hard to take this movie if it wasn't funny. I mean, I think yeah. that's what makes it, you know, but it is all about, the situation's absurd, too, in a lot of ways. I mean, everybody fighting over this poor old man and I think also crazy. it's not really Tolstoy as well. Remember we were Doesn't saying really that matter, earlier? Yeah. yeah, if you don't know anything about it, or it, it just it so happens it it's It happens Tolstoy. to be about yeah. Tolstoy, but it's a love story and a comedy that happens to be about Tolstoy. And it's another aspect of his life that perhaps some of us didn't know about before. I knew about his novels. Yeah. So I learned a lot, too. Yeah, but yeah. But it's not really like a history lesson. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> no, I hope it's not like a history lesson. Yeah. What did the two of you learn about uh, the man's life and his wife and everything from reading the book, the script, and doing this film that you didn't know before? I didn't know very much, so I tell you, it was kind of easy to it, learn. It was, a actually, yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't know much about it either. I, I didn't know much about the commune and the whole religious yeah, aspect Yeah, I mean, of neither. Life. The commune was completely new. I mean, it's fascinating, you know, but I didn't, I didn't know much. I mean, I learned some about the guy, but he's just a kind of weird, weird character. He was a kind of peculiar, creepy guy. He wasn't a very interesting-sounding guy in a funny way. Your character? Yeah, he was just a kind of mediocre, weird guy. Sofia Andreevna, at last you honor us with a visit. Well, I'm curious to see how things are progressing here at Telia Tinky. Oh. What is it? Oh, uh, your mustaches. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, that's it. Just a problem with the wax. Vladimir Grigorovich, let me come straight to the point. I don't wish to be your enemy. On the contrary, I am delighted that my husband has found a friend who understands and shares his ideals. I, I just want what's, what's reasonable. I want an opportunity to evaluate the new will. If you agree, then I'm sure we can be friends. You are very kind, Sophia Andreevna. But I can't help you. Not without specific instructions from your husband. Oh, he has agreed, hasn't he, uh, Valentin? He no witness you produce can change my position, I'm afraid. But I will, of course, speak to Lev Nikolaevich at the first opportunity. The last station aspect of it, where the title comes in, mm. is that we actually can relate as modern day people because there was a paparazzi aspect to it. Can you talk True. a little bit about what the, sort of the media frenzy was as he was passing away? Well, part of the thing in the movie is that everybody's at the poor guy. Yeah. He's become this kind of huge celebrity, and that's one of the things he needs to get the hell away from, is everybody's treating him not like a human being. They're treating him like a god. That's why he goes to the yeah. station, yeah, to get away part from Part of it, everybody's the sitting there writing down yeah. his every word, and it's like, you know, and so, but it was a kind of big international media event. I think it, it went away from what he had started in the commune and everything. It just became this whole, he became really popular and kind of out of his control, I suppose. Everybody you thought him. you were looking after him, you know, his Oh character. yeah, everybody thinks they're looking yeah. after him, but everybody's attacking the poor guy and he just wants to be left alone. Yeah, even Helen's character. Totally, she's driving him just yeah. as crazy as anybody else's. <laughs> You don't need a husband, you need a Greek chorus! Love 
cannot be weak-minded. It cannot be stupid. I mean, isn't that what it's about? Freedom and love. He's her entire life. The work in her mind is theirs together. I've never stopped loving you. Of course. But God knows you don't make it easy.